everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton and we're cruising. We are cruising to, well today is kind of a two part day. So I'm going to go to, you know, my favorite place on the planet, Home Goods this morning, get out bright and early, and then Lucian's going to take his nap. And I'm going to go get Dallas and Lucian, and we're going to go on a family field trip to Spirit Halloween, y'all. <laughs> we're getting in the car, we're loading up, we're going to Spirit Halloween finally. And then, of course, we'll get back out and go. I want to check, I want to keep checking Target, Dollar, or no, nope, every single time. I don't know why I do this. Their Bullseye Playground. I always want to say Dollar Spot, but it's their Bullseye playground anyways we're gonna check there i don't know if we're gonna go today should we go today maybe we'll go on the way home but we're gonna keep checking the target bullseye playground which i have a feeling they're gonna be stocking anytime we're gonna be checking walmart we're gonna be checking uh and then the usual suspects ross burlington the places that get new stuff in all the time so i don't know where else we have cvs walgreens we've got a bunch of places to check still so um now that it's officially after back to school we're gonna be seeing the rest of halloween coming out so there are still stores that have not put anything out and now is the time or any time between now and labor day we're gonna be seeing the rest of the stores putting stuff out for halloween anyways we're on our way to home goods we're trying to get out bright and early it's another miserable marie day y'all another one and we're supposed to get a cold front and it hasn't happened yet. I mean, technically it's supposed to be 88 today, but it's already so humid that it feels like 5,088. <laughs> it's pretty much what it feels like right now. August is definitely the most humid month in Kansas City. It is unbearable. It just, ugh. It's like you're just constantly soggy. Like, and unending soggy event but that leads me to the sponsor for today's video because today's video is sponsored by a brand that keeps your ghoul dry during the soggy months and that is Lumi and if you never heard of Lumi before never used Lumi before and you're like ghoul what are you even talking about Lumi is an all over full body deodorant experience. And Lumi was invented by OBGYN Shannon Klingman. Lumi is clinically proven to block body odor all day and continues controlling BO for 72 hours. And like I mentioned before, Lumi is a whole body deodorant. So we're talking the usual suspects like pits, but also belly buttons, butt cracks, balls, vulvas, all the goods, the swampy goods. Lumi stops odor before it starts. It's also skin safe, baking soda free, cruelty free, vegan, and pH optimized. It also doesn't leave a heavy residue or stain your clothes. Anyways, I've been loving Lumi. I've been trying all the products. They sent me a full blown starter pack, which is amazing. You get the whole body deodorant, which is like a classic stick deodorant. It smells so good. This one is in the scent toasted coconut. It smells so freaking good for the summer. But I was blown away by their invisible cream all over body deodorant. I had never used a cream deodorant before. And Lumi, this is such a good product. I love the whole idea of a cream deodorant, especially underneath the ghouls and between the ghouls. And this one is in the scent clean tangerine. Oh man, I love a good citrus scent. And also in the starter pack, I got the acidified body wash and the acidified deodorant wipes. Anyways, Lumi's starter pack bundle is a great deal for new customers. You get a full-size stick deodorant, a cream deodorant tube, two free products like wipes and a mini body wash, free US shipping, and just for you guys, just for the spooky family here, Lumi is offering an extra $5 off. If you click the link down in my description box, I'll also put the link right here, and use code JADE Five. That's a steal of a deal over 40% off. So definitely check out Lumi for all of your summer sweating needs, your full body deodorant. Anyways, now that we're nice and fresh and dry and smelling amazing, we're going to go into Home Goods, see if they got any spooky goods. Here we go. All right, we're here at Home Goods. We're going in. 
Mr. Skeleton, sir. Every time we go to Home Goods, every freaking time, we say, or I don't say it, but I think in my mind, oh, you know, Home Goods is probably slowing down, or, you know, we can probably slow down at Home Goods. And then every time I go, there's something new and exciting, or something I've been looking for every freaking time. I don't know how this happens. Anyways, we saw a lot of new spooky goods. Like this, this home goods is fully stocked right now. They look better than they've ever looked all season. Saw a couple of new, really cool things. Not a whole lot of new stuff in the decor area, but what they had was so good. They had a candelabra with a skull. It was like a big fancy candelabra. We've seen ones that are similar, but not exactly like this one. They had this big topiary looking guy that had a bunch of stacked jack-o'-lanterns and I can't remember what it was at the top. Was it a cat? Was it a bat? Was it, I can't remember what it was at the top, but it was really cool looking. They also had the Christian Siriano mirror I've been looking for. It's in the shape of a coffin and it has a bat at the top. I have been looking for this freaking mirror and I've seen other ones. We've seen other mirrors as we've been out, but not this one. And then what else do we see in this area? Oh, there was a Hello Kitty blow mold in this area, which I know a lot of people are looking for. And there was a jack-o'-lantern head guy, like candy bowl head guy. And what else was new in this area? Anything else new in this area I'll show, but a lot of it was the same kind of stuff we've been seeing. So then I was leaving the store, y'all, leaving the store, and there was a bench sitting right there in between the two doors with spider webs. It had a whole spider web design on the back of the bench. It's just a simple spider web back on a bench, on a wooden bench. And it was everything I had pictured from my front porch. I have been putting off this front porch bench for years. I mean, we could just get black, but then I've been holding out for a reason. So anyways, we gotta go back. When Lucian wakes up from his nap, we gotta go back and go pick up this bench. So anyways, then what did we see? What else did we see in this store? Uh, we saw some new ceramic stuff, lots of really cool cookie jars in the ceramic section. They had this really cool haunted house looking or spooky house looking cookie jar. It was black, really cool looking. They also had a ghosty one holding a jack-o'-lantern. They had a stack of, was it a stack of books with like a potion, potion bottles and a skull. I think they had another ceramic one. Was it an apothecary or something? And then they had uh, the cake stand that we've seen over the last couple of years. One of my favorite pieces that I own. What else do they have in this area? Lots of stuff. Bowls, uh, salt and pepper shakers. They had pastel ones. They had ghosty ones. They had the little sponge holders. And then they also had some candy bowls that were really, really cute. One of them had a jack-o'-lantern head guy. One of them was a ghosty. One of them, I can't remember what was it, a cat. I think a black cat. And then there was a bat one that was amazing looking. And what else did we see? I feel like there was something else that was really cool, but I'm just not thinking of it. But they had some really cool pieces in the ceramic section. They had some new mugs. They had pastel ghosty looking mugs. They had a cauldron looking mug. They had uh, some tumblers, some ghosty tumblers. They had skulls and skeletons. They had Hello Kitty, I think a couple of different Hello Kitty ones, Snoopy, um, just various Halloween tumbler, water bottle or whatever, water tumbler things, coffee tumblers, whatever you want to call them. And uh, what else they have? Is that it? Is that all we're thinking of? Well, anything else I'm missing, I'll show you. Oh, no, no, no. I know what else I saw. A freaking Halloween poncho, y'all. They had this jack-o'-lantern poncho with these tassels that had little jack-o'-lantern faces on the tassels they this was seriously one of the cutest halloween clothing pieces i've seen in years it was so i'm so cozy i'm like is this supposed to be like a snuggie or is this like an out like going out kind of wearing poncho because i'm wearing it everywhere that's all i know i'm never gonna leave it once it gets cooler out is what i'm trying to say then they had some jewelry they had some little bat earrings they had some ghost, do they have ghosty earrings? What were the other earrings that I saw? Skeletons, ghosties, I can't, spider webs. I can't remember what we saw, but we've seen it all at this point. We've seen it all. But yeah, they had some spooky goods today. Home goods did not disappoint. 
So that is what we saw. Anything else I'm missing, I'll show here because I'm sure I'm missing something. They had newer stuff. I can't even believe they're still getting new stuff out. And I know some of you are going to be like, well, it's August, Jade. Like, come on. But yeah, I know. But they've been getting stuff out since June. So you would think, and, and I mean, I would just think we'd be seeing full-blown Santa by now. So don't sleep on home goods, y'all. Not sleep on them. And if you think you missed out on an item, keep checking because there were so many things that I saw earlier in the season on the Facebook group. And I was like, oh, I missed out on that. And then I just saw it just now, a couple days ago, last week, uh, just now starting to come out. So keep checking the mirror. I had seen people get that mirror weeks ago. They're just now starting to get them at the Home Goods in my area and that Frankenstein guy. So uh, they're still getting stuff out, still getting the spooky goods. So keep checking your stores if you're looking for something. I know, Mr. Skeleton, you're gaping at me again, sir. But I can't help it. I know you're judging me. I know. I'm supposed to be decorating soon. I know. I know. I can't stop. I can't stop with home goods. I know you're tired of seeing it, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> right here, everyone. We're here at Spirit Halloween. We're going in. Apparently, this one has all of the animatronics, or so my brother said. So, we're going to go in, see what they got. We got Dallas and little baby Lucian. This is his first trip to Spirit Halloween. Cotton Candy Dan. Really? He doesn't work. Well, there's a head in there. <laughs> What do you see? Yeah. That's a hanging skull reaper right there. Yeah. See? Excuse me, sir. Fun house of terror. He'll sit. Whoa, Lucian, look. It's scary. Ooh. Ah, so scary. <laughs> totally unfazed. Lucian's like, this is like home. <laughs> Lucian, what do you want to be for Halloween, bud? <laughs> That's cute. That is so cute. I got TT. Oh my gosh. All right, sir. I'm just good you properly put in your seatbelt. There you go. Look at that. Simple fix. Mm. We're gonna spray ourselves with a candy apple cauldron. <coughs> oh man. Hey everyone, it is another day. Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. It is a gloomy day today. I'm loving it. We're back out on the hunt today. We're cruising. We're stocking Target. We're stocking Home Depot. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton, sir. We're stocking Walmart. Those are the places we're going today. We're gonna go to Home, I almost said Home Goods, because you know I'm itching. You know I can't get out on the hunt without going to Home Goods, but we're not going there today. I'm on a time crunch. We've got Lucian's 15 month appointment doctor's appointment today so we got to go do that so i am we're going to home depot first target then walmart and then that's where we're going today i'm hoping we see some spooky goods at any of these places and if not it is what it is we're kind of in this in between stage with target home depot and walmart where it's going to be any minute we're going to see halloween uh, but yesterday we went to spirit halloween and i didn't get a chance to talk about what we saw there uh, but Lucian loved it. He loved his first experience at the Spirit Halloween. Um, he was in his stroller the whole time. He's kind of in between. He's walking right now. But he's in between this, like, this in-between stage of walking. But then if he can get there faster crawling, then he'll crawl. 
So it's like a hybrid situation right now is what's going on. So uh, I didn't want him crawling all over the Spirit Halloween floors. So we had him in a stroller yesterday. But next year, he'll be cruising around Spirit Halloween. I'm sure we'll be chasing after him. He was pulling on some skeleton bandage thing yesterday. Anyways, let's talk about what we saw at Spirit Halloween though while we're driving, might as well talk about it. So we saw some animatronics. They had some really good animatronics at Spirit Halloween this year. Entryway had this like circus leader guy. I think that's what he was. <laughs> And then they had a big ghost face. And then they had a creepy clown guy that follows you. So it tracks you as you're walking by, which was really cool. I've been watching you for a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. They had a bear dude. <laughs> They had a corpse bride. I do. You make the bride. And there was like a Pinocchio looking good dude. <laughs> and then there was this clown that has cotton candy and there it stirs like there's a head in the cotton candy maker thing. But it wasn't working and I was so bummed out because it looked really cool and I wanted to know what it did. Uh, they also had this creepy kid clown thing. <laughs> they had this tall slender man looking guy. What was the guy we saw when we first walked in? <laughs> and then any of the other ones I'm forgetting I'll show here But they had a bunch of different little animatronic things in boxes and that they didn't have on display. And they had like little animatronics, like the little spooky babies. Yeah. <laughs> and then they also had some pathway lights, lots of different pathway lights. Uh, they did light up like flashing lights. So if you're sensitive to lights, skip ahead a little bit, like probably, I don't know, skip ahead a minute and see where you're at. But, um, they had these go or just close your eyes really quick. Cause I'll show it right now. They had jack-o-lanterns, green jack-o-lanterns that made like robotic noises or something or electric electrocution noises. <laughs> what else they have in this area? Just a lot of different pathway lights. Really cool ones. Also had like a whole tombstone area, lots of different tombstones. Tombstones that said RIP, that were like reapers on them. They had tombstones with angels, tombstones with just all sorts of different types of tombstones in this area. And then they also had a whole bunch of um, limbs, you know, detached limbs, feet, legs, arms, hands, any kind of limb you can think of and body situations. And then, um, and then, you know, they had like half body people hanging around and then they had a whole bone zone with bones and skeletons and skulls and lots of different skulls. Uh, they had skeleton, like bat skeletons and, uh, turtle skeletons and, 
uh, Lucian like the turtle skeleton, but they had a whole bunch of different skeletons and bones in the bone zone, skulls, all that. And then they had a spider area with a bunch of big hairy spiders, spider skeletons, all the spider things. And they had some jack-o'-lanterns and, and then of course they had all their different little themes. They had like a whole horror theme area that had all the usual suspects, Chucky, they had uh, the seed of Chucky or Glenn. They had Jason, Michael, you know, whole crew was there. Different figurines and statue looking things. And uh, what other horror things did they have? I don't know, but they had like a whole little area of horror, little figurines. They also had signs, like a whole bunch of wall decor and signs for all the different movies, different horror movies, or different had different characters on it. Once again, Chucky, Friday the 13th, Halloween, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, all that kind of stuff on this area. And then they had Beetlejuice, a lot of really cool Beetlejuice items. I feel like they really grew their collection this year and I was really excited to see it. They did have the classic Beetlejuice sign that we've seen over the years that lights up and has the arrow. They had a huge sandworm that comes out of the ground that was really cool. And they had some wall decor. It said Beetlejuice. I think one was Lydia. Uh, they had the plushies, like the different plushies of all the different characters. And they had, oh, what else did they have in this area? They had some mugs once again, mugs and tumblers water bottle kind of situations. They had a really cool water globe that had Beetlejuice and then it had the house and the water globe. And I'll continue to show all the Beetlejuice items. I know I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff because there was a lot to remember. They had so many themes and so many little trinkets and all the different themes to remember. They also had Nightmare Before Christmas, a whole wall of Nightmare Before Christmas. So they had like a zero, a floating zero. They had a Jack with the pumpkin head. They had um, they had a bunch of wall decor in this area that said various things, Jack, Jack and Sally, things about Halloween Town or Welcome to Halloween Town and all sorts of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. They also had some tumblers, mugs, water bottles, those types of things in this area with Jack, Sally, Oogie Boogie. And then, um, what else did they have in this area? Just a lot of different nightmare before Christmas stuff. But I'll continue to show all the wall decor, the tabletop decor. They had blankets. Um, they actually had a whole wall of blankets while I'm talking about blankets. They had Chucky. They had Friday the 13th. They had Beetlejuice. They had Ghostbusters. They had uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus. They had basically every type of blanket, every theme, and they were super soft too. They had that like fleecy feel on one side. I don't even know how to describe it. Sherpa, that's what it is on the other side. All right, anyways, I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna run into Home Depot really, really quickly to see if they have anything. We'll come back out, talk more about Spirit Halloween. So here we are, we're going into Home Depot really quickly. All right, we're here at the Home Depot. Mr. Skeleton, there was nothing yet at the Home Depot. No Halloween. They're still clearancing their summer furniture. Not one tombstone, not one skeleton, nothing. Nothing at the Home Depot yet. So we're going to keep stalking. Anyways, let's continue to talk about Spirit Halloween because we saw all the spooky goods there. We could talk about that for 3,000 years. So let's talk about the Hocus Pocus stuff. I saw some Hocus Pocus stuff. They had uh, some cute little wall decor. They had the witches. They had uh, like a little banner thing. I think they had a countdown to Halloween. And they had some tabletop decor, like a little water globe with binks in it. They had a little cauldron soup bowl thing. They had some cups and some mugs with various magical things on them. I think maybe one said, another glorious morning makes me sick. They had some shot glasses window coverings, tablecloths, curtain looking things. And they had some kitchen towels and oven mitts with various magical things on them. But they also had Haunted Mansion stuff. And their Haunted Mansion stuff was so good this year. They had bus statues and tombstones and I had, they had a couple different tombstones and they had a Haunted Mansion sign and they had a cool journal. It was really, really cool that had Haunted Mansion on the front and they had, oh man, what else? They did have a wreath in here, 
then they also had the ghost and the and they had a little trunk and a little tabletop decor with a spinning eye they had some really cool mugs one of the mugs was really cool looking it was very intricate looking had Haunted Mansion on it. And what else have we seen in this area? Lots of different Haunted Mansion stuff. It was pretty stocked in this area. Uh, but they had some good spooky goods in the Haunted Mansion area. They also had just a general witchy kind of area with witchy things. Some wall decor that said Apothecary. They had one that said As Above So Below. Little moons and little, I think there was like a skeleton rose in this area. And there was also a little bat plaque that was cute. And I want to say they also had some cloches and little terraniums and candles and all sorts of witchy things in this area. Did they also have, I think there was like a little framed butterfly thing that was really cool. It's like an intricate frame in this area. Some of it looked really witchy, it had fortune tellers and it was purple and magical moons and stuff like that and then part of it was kind of a gothic line that had more dark intricate things black roses butterflies bats like intricate frames that kind of thing so I don't know but they kind of had them all in the same like little shelf area or wall area they also had like a little shelf that had bugs they had bleeding candles and then they had kind of like a I don't know what this other area was. It was more red stuff. So they had like a little devil skull guy and lanterns. And they had an oil slick spider or tarantula in this area. Skulls with butterflies in their mouths. Or maybe they were moths. And then they had some wall stuff like some wall bats, wall moths. Uh, what else they have? Just other wall like things you can stick to your wall. They had some tablecloths, mantle scarves, and then they also had soap dispensers. They had skulls, a couple of different skulls. They had ones with snakes on them. They had a stack of books with spiders. Uh, they had a spooky house soap dispenser and a fortune teller. And what else do they have in this area? Uh, any other soap dispensers I'm missing I'll show here, but they had the spooky goods at Spirit Halloween. So much to see, so much spooky stuff. We're gonna have to go back because it wasn't even fully stocked. They had a lot of empty shelves. I don't know if it's already picked over or they just don't have, I feel like some people were still stocking some of the shelves. So I feel like they're not in all of their glory quite yet. We're going to have to check our, we'll check a newly opened store when another one opens. Right now we're here at Target. Oh, hi, Mr. Skeleton, sir, again. Um, we're here at Target. We're going to go see if they have any spooky goods. We're going in. Here we go. All right, Mr. Skeleton, we got to haul balls to Walmart, sir, because we got to get home, feed Lucian his lunch, and then go to the doctor. We saw some things, some spooky things, no decor, sadly, nothing in the bullseye playground, nothing in the hide and eek area, nothing in the threshold, nothing, no Halloween. At Target though, I did see some clothing, some sweatshirts and sweatpants sets and t-shirts and stuff that were on the spooky side of life. And hopefully I got some good visuals because it was so hard. Nothing was on a hanger, so I couldn't really hold it up to get a good visual. So I had to kind of like drape it on the, the what do you call it? The little shelf thing. Uh, but they had some Beetlejuice sweatshirts. They had one with sandworms all over it. Then one said Beetlejuice in green. And then the back had all sorts of cool lime green spooky designs. And then the sweatpants, or black sweatpants, they like matched the set that said Beetlejuice down the leg. They also had a heathered gray sweatshirt and sweatpants set that had white spider webs all over it. They had, uh, what else was in this area? I think there was a Nightmare Before Christmas sweatshirt that was pink and said something on it about a nightmare, I think. And then they had a Goosebumps sweatshirt that was really cute. It was baby blue and had the jack-o'-lantern guys on it. And they had a Snoopy t-shirt that's Snoopy and a little ghosty, I believe. And they had, what else they have? What was the other sweatshirt? Oh, oh, I think they had a Hello Kitty sweatshirt that had like skeletons and bats or I can't remember what all was on it. They also had Mickey, a Mickey skeleton sweatshirt, Just Mickey in a little skeleton outfit. They also had their bobble bar 
their spooky bobble bar, bar stuff. Like uh, the jewelry, like the whole jewelry section. And they had dangly ghosty earrings. And they had another dangly situation that had jack-o'-lanterns. And they had a little martini glass, eyeballs coming out of it. I actually got those for my mom. Um, They had black cats. They had little dangly bedazzled spiders. And then like little spider web hoops. What other ones do they have in this area? Skeletons. They had skeletons dangling. Oh, what else do they have in this area? All sorts of different earrings, mainly earrings, but they did have some, I want to say they were pins. They had a cat one. They had a jack-o'-lantern pin. And they had, what was the other one? Was it a heart with spider webs or something on it? Just various bedazzlements. Anyways, that's what we saw at Target. Now we're cruising to Walmart. We're gonna go see if Walmart has any decor out, any clothes out anything at all we saw some spooky jammies last time we were there but they hadn't put out any halloween so we're gonna go check out the spooky goods now see what they got and we're gonna be quick about it hopefully maybe <laughs> so i'll see you at walmart here we go all right mr skeleton let's talk about what we saw at walmart so no halloween decorations yet that being said they did have some spooky jewelry out. Today is the day of the spooky jewelry. And we saw some spooky goods. So they had all sorts of different themes. So one theme was in your face Halloween. Jack-o'-lanterns, ghosties, um, candy corns, earrings that said boo, uh, little earring sets with black cats, and ghosties. But this whole little area was... Like the theme was kind of trick-or-treat, lots of orange and yellow, black, like classic Halloween kind of stuff. They had hair clips, they had claw clips, they had little mini clips, they had necklaces, chokers, um, what else do they have? Is it little headbands, all sorts of cutesy little in-your-face Halloween jewelry and accessories. And they had a whole other little theme that had more pinks and purples and oranges and greens. They had like lime green, black and white striped heart earrings that looked a lot like Beetlejuice. They had little dangly earrings with bats and stars and ones that said trick or treat or just trick and then treat. They had little jack-o'-lanterns, ghosties, all that kind of stuff, but in this color scheme. And it was cute. It was really cute. And then they also had necklaces, like they had jack-o'-lantern necklaces, candy corn necklaces, and what else do they have? Uh, other little bead necklaces and bracelets, and what else do they have in this area? But yeah, lots of cute little, it's like a mix of classic Halloween and cutesy Halloween in one. And they had a little witchy line that was also cute. They had little witch brooms. Those were cute. They had uh, little cauldrons, like bedazzled cauldrons, and more of the witchy kind of stuff. Witch hats, witch brooms, black cats, moons, like little crescent moon earrings. They had dangly earrings. They had stud earrings. They had little sets of earrings. They also had little headbands, and once again, choker necklaces, and what, were, what was beside the... Oh, and bracelets that said various things, like creepy and... Uh, I don't know, spooky and that kind of stuff, little beaded bracelets. And then they also had like a little gothic area. They had some really cute earrings as well. They had little raven earrings. They had skeletons, a bunch of different types of dangly bedazzled skeletons. They had spider web earrings, roses, skulls, chains, studs, that kind of stuff in this area. Uh, so more of that kind of gothic feel, reds and silvers, blacks, and then they had some sunglasses that were really cute. They had these bat sunglasses that almost looked like lace on the outside, and then they had these devil heart sunglasses. They also had some hair clips in this area with roses and skulls and a bunch of other gothic looking stuff. Then they also had some stuff in the women's clothing area and the women's pajama area. They had a couple of new pajama sets, at least new to me. They had a couple of Nightmare Before Christmas ones. They're like short sleeve and short sets. And they also had the nightgown. They had a Sally nightgown and then I think a Jack nightgown. And then they also had some Beetlejuice 
pajamas. Once again, the short sleeves and the shorts. I wish they would have done the long pants in a couple of options because I feel like the short sleeves and the shorts work for now, but I feel like as we get into fall, it's going to get too cold. At least in my area, it gets too cold. Uh, they also, over in the clothing area, they had some Beetlejuice sweatshirts that were really cute. They had this purple color and they had the matching sweatpants. They also had an acid wash gray zip up hoodie and matching sweatpants. And they also had a gray sweatshirt that said Beetlejuice on it and it had a whole back print to it that had Beetlejuice on it. Uh, so a couple new Beetlejuice spooky pieces in the women's section. I didn't see anything new in the men's section or kids section or anything like that. So uh, now we're just waiting for Walmart to put out the spooky goods. We've seen the clothes and the jewelry Target and Walmart were ready for your spooky goods. So we'll continue to stock those stores. You know we will. And I think that is it for this video. Anyways, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed hanging out, Halloween decor hunting, and just Halloween hunting in general. Uh, clothes, accessories, all the spooky goods with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, let me know anything you're seeing out there. If you're seeing Walmart, if you're seeing Target or Home Depot, any of the places we've been stocking, let me know if the goods are good. If the spooky goods are spooky good. <laughs> uh, let me know down in the comments. So anyways, thank you so much for hanging out here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.